Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and I'm going to show you how to deadhead your columbine or achalasia. So it's a spring blooming flower, and right about now, it's uh, beginning of July, they often are starting to go to seed. This is a good thing, but it can be a bad thing. It depends on how you like your garden to look. If you let it go to seed, and the seed goes throughout your garden, you're going to have a lot of columbine the following spring. But if you don't want that look, go ahead and trim them back. We're going to take you down here into the garden and I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you see here, all these brown ones are the dried seed pods. They are loaded with seeds right now. So I'm going to be very careful as I'm trimming this because I do not want to spill those seeds here in my garden. So I'm going to go down to the ground approximately six inches off the ground there and I'm going to trim this. You can probably hear the seeds falling as I'm doing this. All right, I'm going to carefully lift this up and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. That's just a small sampling of the seeds that are coming out of this columbine. So if you want to, you can take these seeds and spread them throughout your garden so you have a lot of this beautiful spring bloomer or go ahead and trim them and then throw these away in your compost pile. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings on how to trim your columbine.